So I'm Julian Jones, I'm a professor of biomaterials at Imperial College London and uh, I run a, a research group designing new innovative advanced materials for regenerative medicine. Well, a real problem surgeons have at the moment is when you have, uh, especially in trauma, that they have, there can be cases where bones are destroyed so badly that surgeons can't knit them back together. So normally if you have a hairline fracture, the surgeon will just realign the bones, put a cast on, and the bone will regenerate itself. The problem comes when the injury is so bad that the pieces of the bone are, are sort of broken up and the surgeon can't put them back together. So what surgeons really want are synthetic materials that they can take off the shelf, put into, uh, into a bone defect, and that material would stimulate the natural healing mechanisms uh, and act as a temporary template in three dimensions and allow the bone to regrow and then the material should disappear in the long term. At the moment, the, the, the materials aren't available. So my research is, uh, is traditionally on a material called bioglass. And this is a glass that when you put it into the body, it will slightly react and form a really tight bond to bone. And not only that, but it actually releases um, ions that tell the cells to regrow more bone. Uh, and it also degrades over time, disappears uh, as the new bone grows. So what doesn't it do? Well, what it doesn't do is take load in the body. So surgeons at the moment really want something that will, uh, what you can implant will stimulate that regeneration, but also take the load that your, that your body will put on that implant. So a glass is, is no good for that because although it will take load in that direction, if you do that it will shatter, it'll explode like a brittle material that everyone knows it is. So we want something that can have all those biological properties but take some load in, in that direction. Uh, and that's what we've developed here with this one, that, uh, which is a, a mixture, a molecular level mixture of a biodegradable polymer, which means it's a, a plastic that breaks down into natural metabolites in the body, and the bioactive glass. And it's such a fine uh, relationship that it behaves as one material and it bounces. So that is really what we're looking for. We imagine a surgeon has two bones with a space between them. They'll put it in there and they'll be able to squeeze those bones together and, and, uh, and that material will be under load. Well just last year I had a, an 18 year old uh, guy contact me. He was, he was doing his A-levels and he had uh, problems with his spine and uh, he'd had many, many operations where the surgeons had tried to correct it without using any biomaterials as such. Uh, and then they tried one and it didn't work. And then they tried bioglass and it did work. And uh, just a few weeks later, uh, he has complete, uh, well, to look at him, you wouldn't notice he had any problems at all. So he has um, everyday mobility and, and posture that he didn't have before the operation. So it's a real example of quality of life by just a small biomaterial.